my new album. It's a trio recording with Carl Allen on drums and John Lee on bass and myself on tenor saxophone. We're doing five of my originals. Um, they come from different parts of my life, but there's, there's a, a couple of my tunes which are based on standards. I like to write melodies based on, on standard tunes, bebop tunes and, and um, show tunes. If you are a jazz fan and you're familiar with Sonny Rollins' Live at the Village Vanguard, um, or Joe Henderson live at the Village Vanguard with Ron Carter and Al Foster. It, it's, they're both, okay, tenor saxophone led trios with bass and drums, but it's that with a breath of fresh air. We got a tune on there called, I think it's called Tabasco Burn, where it's like a New Orleans second line kind of thing. So it's not just all straight ahead. John Lee is kind of an enigma actually in the sense that he he just kind of burst onto the scene a few years ago playing all the instruments. On bass, there are very few people that play as, have as this, the facility that John has and all the melodic ideas within their grasp that he has. But he also plays drums, piano, guitar, organ, and I'm like, man, you just gonna have to pick one. And he is extremely flexible and ready to go in any direction the music goes. And uh, the world needs to know more about him. For a, a group that's trying to make music in the moment, you know, um, he's, he's the perfect guy for this. What we're trying to do is, is just flow with what's going on right now and not bringing too many things from outside into the, into the equation. And I think it's going great because of that. Everyone's very much lockstep in that way, um, listening to each other and playing the music that each other is contributing. So I, I always feel like that's the, the way to go, regardless of whether you're playing with a, a band that's rehearsed and, and musicians know each other for years and years, or if you're just getting together for the first time, it's just sharing in the moment. So uh, that's what's going on today, and I think it's gonna produce some good results. It's, in it, it's always a challenge when you're trying to meet people where they are, to try to create something where collectively you feel like you're on, um, you're moving together in a united front. You know, and so there's a certain negotiation that comes with that of giving of yourself, try to figure out where another person's at so you can try to come to an agreement. That, that's a challenge in itself. But that's part of the joy of it, you know? And then taking chances, trying to create a certain level of trust so that you can be able to do that. Well, it's great playing with Carl. He's, he's the wealth of experience that that man has accumulated throughout his life as a musician and as a person makes him so flexible and creative in the, with the least amount of effort, it seems. And I find that we're, we keep coming together on certain ideas in the music and um, finding ourselves like hearing the same things. And that's strange because I, I mean, I've never played with them before uh, this recording session, but that is the way it is with jazz. When you're, you're speaking a common language, it's like you can discover people through that language. It's a classic configuration of saxophones, specifically tenor, bass and drums, that in my opinion, you gotta have a certain kind of thing to be able to make that work. And I think uh, Mike has that. I do write music specifically with a trio in mind, so I'll write melodies that, that, that don't need a chord sounding in order to be able to hear the harmony between the melody note and the bass note. It gives me a little bit more room within the conversation to, uh, to either to manipulate the conversation or not. So it's really important when you're writing music for trio that you have good, solid counterpoint between the bass and the, and the saxophone. 
So it allows for a different kind of conversation to be able to um, use different textures and different dynamics and create different kinds of moods within the music. It's going great, we're having a good time, everything's just clicking along. I don't want to be just the drummer for hire, I want to play with people I really want to play with because music is so personal for me that if I'm going to give of myself to that level, I want to believe in the thing that I'm giving myself into. Uh, so it's been, a, it's been a great session. I think it's going to be a great album. Thank you.